Hello friends, welcome to Got No Gaming. I'm Stubb, and today we're checking out Airships Conquer the Skies, a physics-based, side-viewed, cross-platform, online multiplayer conquest game developed by David Stark, releasing on August 16th on Steam. In Airships Conquer the Skies, you will build fully customizable airships with an extensive progressive tech tree of unlockable ship modules to rain destruction on your friends and online opponents alike. A multitude of game modes allows you to play the game however you want, from single solo battle against an AI opponent to a large map conquest campaign with your friends. Available with 7 support languages, Steam achievements, and a Steam Workshop, Airship Conquer Disguise has certainly earned its overwhelmingly positive review rating on Steam thus far. Follow the link in the description below to the Steam page, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube, as well as at StubGKG over on Twitch.tv and Twitter while you're down there clicking on the things. Now, let's get into some gameplay. One of the neat features here that I want to take a quick look at is the coat of arms. So we can come over here to our edit arms, and depending on what we select for our shield over here on the left side, and for our, our individual elements are over on the right hand side, we can actually get some different buffs, which is kind of cool. It's a really neat idea. So I chose an anvil, which gives me 50% uh, steel armor cost, which is uh, not too, too bad. And we've also got an uh, estoil. I think it's estoil. So it gives you technology, gunnery, metallurgy, and reinforced hulls. This is something that you'll see as we go through in the game. There's a very large tech tree that you have to unlock as you progress through the game. So pretty interesting. You can build this up. I believe, if I'm reading this correctly, it's currently, it only affects your gameplay in multiplayer right now, uh, like multiplayer campaign. So as we're playing through um, the solo campaign, I don't think it'll have any effect, but we'll find out as we go. If you're going to start out the game, I do recommend doing the tutorial. So the tutorial is here on top, and as you, as you can see, it's pretty extensive. It's uh, 10 stages. It takes, I'd guess it probably took me half an hour to an hour to go through the full tutorial, and it's very worthwhile. It's done really well, and you can spend as much time or as little time in it as you want, but it really prepares you to play the game highly recommended. So let's back out of here. Now let's get into some gameplay. All right, so let's go ahead and check out Conquest here. So Conquest, I've actually already started one, but just for the sake of going through the, the process, we're going to open a new one. So we'll do a new game. I'm just going to call this one Test because we're not actually going to use this one. So we're going to call it Test 01. So you can edit your arms here. You can do a random arms. We're going to use our, our standard arm that we've already set up. And over on the right-hand side, we've got a bunch of options, right? So map size, go small, medium, large, difficulty, so this is basically what I've set mine up as, but we'll go ahead and show you what a big map looks like. I don't know if I did large or medium. I don't remember now. Uh, difficulty, I went with medium just to start with. I went with mixed land, I believe. Uh, monsters, I went to default. So yeah, there's there's monsters and, and stuff in the game. It's There's a lot, a lot of content in the game. It looks really, really good. I can't wait to get into it. Uh, research, I put on normal. Starting tech, you can whichever tier you started. I started at one. So let's take a look and see how this map setup goes, and then we'll back out and go with the one that I've already started up. So let's go ahead and start game. It takes a minute, depending on how long it takes. We may cut this and be back. All right, so finally got it loaded up, and this is our map. So this is our generated map size. You can see it's pretty large. All right, we start out with one city. So these are individual kingdoms. Each kingdom has, I think, three satellite cities around it. We start out with this one here. So this is basically where we started, um, where I am on the, the initial map that I opened up. So we're going to go ahead and back out of this. We'll open up my original map and you can see like the AI is moving around, like things are happening. It is, it is on. So let's pause it. I'm going to back out, open up my primary map, and then we'll go ahead and start playing. So here we are in my, in my primary map. The one that I've started. I never actually did anything into it. I just opened it up. Oh, that was pretty cool. There's a whole fleet thing back here. Monthly report. Interesting. It's a pretty good sized map. I think this is a medium map where the other one was large. So now from here, we can go... There's a description on basically how the game works. So if you guys want, you can go ahead and check this out. You can pause it here and read it. I'm not going to go through and read the whole thing. Um, basically says... You've got satellite cities. When you attack a city, you're going to want to build the defenses up. You have an option of how much destruction you cause to the city after you conquer it. 
and depending on how much or how you react to the city after it's conquered will depend on how much value you get out of it and how long it takes to repair it. Obviously, it's a give and take. So now we start here, right? We're clicked on our city, so we've got design ship, build ship. So our message here says, Sub GKG is your home city. Cities that are yours have your flag. Each city you can conquer gives you an additional income, but also must be defended. All right, so let's do a design ship. All right, we are starting from scratch. How much money? We don't have very much money. All right, this is gonna be challenging because we were very light on money. So we need a propeller, right? So we're gonna need a propeller. We're gonna need a suspension chamber. The suspension chamber actually allows the lift. We're gonna need a cruise quarters. No, so we'll need to get a ladder going on here. All right, actually we're gonna wanna slide this one forward a bit because I think we're probably gonna wanna put something in the back. Okay. Yeah, and I right click with K, then we can replace it. There we go. K mode, right, so remove is K mode. Um, I think X is rotate. These are things we'll get to in time, all in time. So we've got a crew quarter. You can see it's not connected yet because it's got the red line in it. We've got suspension. We have our propeller. We're going to need coal because we can't go nowhere without some coal, like so. Then we can do a corridor ladder, like so. We will need to have at least one supply hatch. So we can put that in there. Now that's all happy. Now, see what do we got? We got cruise quarter, we got lift, we got coal. We're going to need a command and crew, command center, the bridge. Put this guy here, bam, we got a bridge. So money wise, we don't have a whole lot here. We probably should get, I don't know if we even have access to it yet, but a fire suppression system, all kinds of stuff. We're gonna need an ammo cache. Let's go ahead and put this one, I think like so. Oh, you can do small coal and stuff too? All right, that's good to know. I, I was not aware of that. Fire point. Basically our fire suppression, when we get caught on fire, these guys will actually help get the fire out. Now, up here it's gonna tell us we have 12 crew, we require 11. We're actually gonna need more than that because once we start putting weapons on, they're gonna require people as well. Okay, so what happened, we were actually missing, our supply was at nine out of eight. So we actually needed more supply hatches. So I had to put a second supply hatch up. I took the bridge off and I put a small command, what do they call it? A cockpit. So the cockpit is kind of nice. It costs a lot less. Take you off. All right, so we're pretty much out of money. We can try some armor, but I don't think we'll have enough to do anything useful here. Steel wall costs 100. Where's our lift? So service ceiling is 151 meters. I think that's okay. Uh, command. Command every 17 seconds. So because we've got the small, um, the small command center, we have a lot longer time in between when we can offer commands. We're gonna armor up our important stuff here. So far, so good. We actually have a little bit of money left. I wonder, can we get another grenade in here? Grenade, grenade. Um, actually, we can do the bomb bay, can't we? Yeah, we can get away with that. How much are they? 22, six, seven, eight. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think maybe we should give this a shot. See what happens. All right. So we're all, all good here. We have no red. We have grenades and bomb bays. Yeah, yeah, okay, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and save this. Save design. We're going to over save this one. Overwrite, yes, done. And L is to leave, L leave. Now we wanna build the ship. Unarmored hopes, which is actually no longer unarmored. I guess I should have renamed it. Let's build it, make it so. Let's call it, <laughs> now armored hopes. All right, build one. We need to play, start moving forward. So it's now building our ship. You can see the little bars going up there. Build the ship. Come on now. All right, we now have a ship. So this is our our fleet. 
right? Oh, this is the fleet. I got gotcha. you. Oh, our money just went up. So now we can do a sense buy because our money went up. And as time passes, this is how much money we get each time, each day that goes by or whichever time, whatever time deviation it is. Your spy is now set up and reporting from Setius. The following information has been available. The income it produces, uh, the income it produces and the size of its shipyard, which determines how quickly it can build new ships. Finally, the level of its secret police, which determine how susceptible it is to bribery and sabotage. If you click on the city, you can now choose View City, which allows you to see its defenses and garrison. Using spies, you can determine what kind of fleet you need to conquer a city. Okay, so let's view the city. All right, bunch of unarmored. These look like a bunch of unarmed. Oh no, these are these are guns, aren't they? So a bunch of rifles in buildings. A couple of these guys. That's pretty big. I mean, they're all rifles, so we might be able to take them with the bomb. The bombs. Now, if we zoom out all the way, are there any ships? I don't see any ships. It looks like the white line is the actual city. So I think we can actually take this guy out. Let's leave. Oh, I think Cubus is the one that we actually wanted to spy on, right? Once your fleet is ready, select it. As soon as your fleet can reach out and invade, have an invade button. Clicking invade will send selected ships. Now invade this city and ready yourself for combat. All right, let's do it. Aha, there we go. So now we can invade. So let's go ahead, invade the city, and see what we can do here. Invading Cestius. Uh-oh. Looks like defenses are coming. Still have GKG versus Cestius. All right, so now there's a couple of these guys here. Looks like they got battering rams. Oh, is this me? Oh, this is a ship I didn't even know I had. All right, it's got some cannons and some weird sails. So we click one, move him. Oh, he's at the ceiling. We got a problem. This guy can't go any higher. Alright. I think we gotta run away here. So did we get to keep our ships? I don't recall saying anything about the other ship coming in. That was uh that was something. Defeat. Okay, so now if we go. It's this one. Now refit, repair. Oh, nope. Okay, so we can re... Okay, that's good. We can refit stuff if we want to. Good to know. Uh, we're done here. Let's leave. So we do want to... Let's refit this one. Uh, flip it. How do I flip? Flip F. All right, we now have more money, All right? The cost to rebuild the old design. Gotcha. All right, so now let's do another cannon. Bam. Another grenade. You, can, you won't go there. You won't go there. Okay. We probably need some more... So I'll put you right here for now. Uh, more, more lift, right? Because we did not have adequate lift. Suspension chamber. There was another suspension chamber. This one cost 180. That's the same. I thought there was a small one. I saw a small suspension chamber someplace. It's gonna take me a while to get the the feel for the layout of everything here. There's a cow catch for an airship. That's interesting. We need more lift. 
We need to lift it, lift it. Oh, small suspension chamber. This is the one I was looking for. They're considerably less expensive. So now my service ceiling is at 220, so that's much higher. That's much more better. Now, armor. Let's rearmor everything with steel. So our service ceiling was 226. It's actually higher. Does steel weigh less than wood? Weight is two. Weight is four, yeah. The armor is 27 hit points, absorbs five and three. Oh, I see. Wood armor's actually got more. It's actually got more HP. Interesting. Interesting. All right, I think we're pretty good here. Let's save this. Save design. I don't know what to call this one here. We do want to overwrite that one because we don't really want it anymore. Initial hopes. Save it. And how do we build it? We saved it. Refit T. There we go. Refitted. Nice. Now Cubus. Send a spy to Cubus. Wait for that one. Oh, you've got nothing. You got one little building. Now, see, that's what we should attack the first time. So, our service ceiling on this guy is real high. Which is good. Alright, so let's go. How do we leave? Oh, I I went to attack it. Oh, Alright, you know what? I think we got this. Let's go ahead and do it. So let's do reserve this guy. Sub attack on Cubus. Yeah, we want this one. That guy's in reserve. We're just gonna bomb that sucker. And I think we're good, so let's go ahead and start. And we're gonna move over here. Make sure it's move. What am I ready to move again? You can see my timer's slowly going down here. Once I'm ready, I'm gonna come back up here, and get above it, so we can bomb. Here. Why did you not go? Oh, I, I didn't even see the island there. Oh, wow. They don't have the. Okay. The AI won't actually go around that thing. That's sad. Come on down here. Let's see, we should be able to light that thing up pretty good now. All right, we should have some grenades making. Oh, the grenades aren't quite there. If we go to here, we can bomb it. I think we're doing pretty good. It looks like it's going well. All right, our bomb doors. Yeah, I think this is working out pretty well right here. Those bombs are painful. I think we've just about got this. Nice. Victory is ours. Victory is mine. So we have done this. We've done a thing. 
Victory. Gentle takeover, brutal takeover, or pillaging. Let's do a gentle takeover. A slow and gentle transfer of power that leaves the city mostly intact. Brutal takeover. The city is rapidly bought under your control. And pillaging. Treasuries of the city are plundered, resulting in a lot of money in a short time. Right. So we're doing a slow. You can see it's coming up real slow. Now, what we want to do now is go back to our fleet. We're going to build another ship. Let's build another one of these. Build initial hopes O2. What is this? Oh, nope. These are just random names. Build a ship. Initial hopes. Build. Number two. Okay. Here we go. So now with two of those, we should be in much better shape. Is it building? We're moving forward. Move back to here. What are we doing here? How is... We should still be doing this takeover, right? Oh. I thought we had selected that. Okay. So gentle takeover is slowly taking over. So now I have no ships here. Um, hmm. I see, so I have to leave a ship there to protect it. Uh, dusk. Distracting light from the western means shots fired in the right or less. Oh, interesting. Uh, there's a lot of mechanics in this game. It's pretty crazy. All right, so I've screwed this up. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Uh, we lost the city. So I guess we may as well just flee. Because we have no defense. All right, like I see nothing here. So let's just flee. Defeat. All right, we messed that one up. Now you, view city. The city does not have much. With a couple of bombers, I think we can do pretty good. They will call in some ships, which hopefully we can take care of early on. Let's do this and see what we can do. Leave. Oh, initial hopes is almost made up. There we go. Now there's two. So that's just Conqueror's Lubbard. Okay, so things are going on. Things are happening. Why am I only... Where's my other ship? Okay, other ship doesn't join... Right away. Well, that's my ceiling? I thought I was higher now. Let's reserve this one. That's as high as we can go. All right. I guess I thought we had two ships. We do not. Let's see what happens. I 
I did not know there was rockets coming at me. Hope we can get out of range of those rockets. That's going to be a bad deal. Now that thing should be taking some serious damage. That ship. Said it seems to be me taking the damage. Oh, I'm going to hit that island. Let me move again. Let me move. Come on. I need a better command center. Come on, let me move before I'm dead. Come on now. Nope. <laughs> Surrendered. Lost. Yep. All right. So we learned a lesson here. Bring both ships. You don't learn much when things go right. So we now know we have to get our ships into the same fleet before we attack something. We know not to attack the primary city first. And yeah. So when we pick up next time, we'll get some more ships built up. We'll attack the proper city. And we'll stay on that city until it's actually taken over. And yeah, we'll go from there. So. We'll pick you guys up here in the next episode. As always, I'm Stubb. You're awesome. Game off.